The organ of smell is the olfactory epithelium. The olfactory membrane lies in the superior part of each nostril. Medially, the olfactory membrane falls downward along the surface of the superior septum. Laterally, it falls over the superior turbinate. The receptor cells for the smell sensation are the olfactory cells, which are actually bipolar nerve cells derived originally from the central nervous system itself. There are about 100 million of these cells in the olfactory epithelium interspersed among sustentacular cells. The mucosal end of the olfactory cell forms a knob from which 4 to 25 olfactory hairs project into the mucus that coats the inner surface of the nasal cavity. These projecting olfactory cilia form a dense mat in the mucus, and it is these cilia that react to odors in the air and stimulate the olfactory cells. Spaced among the olfactory cells in the olfactory membrane are many small Bowman's glands that secrete mucus onto the surface of the olfactory membrane. The purpose of each olfactory cell that responds to the olfactory chemical stimuli is the olfactory cilia. The odorant substance, on coming in contact with the olfactory membrane surface, first diffuses into the mucus that covers the cilia. Then it binds with receptor proteins in the membrane of each cilium. The odorant binds with the protein of the receptor protein that folds to the outside. The inside of the folding protein, however, is coupled to a G protein, itself a combination of three subunits. On excitation of the receptor protein, an alpha subunit breaks away from the G protein and immediately activates adenylyl cyclase, which is attached to the inside of the ciliary membrane near the receptor cell body. The activated cyclase, in turn, converts many molecules of intracellular adenosine triphosphate into silic adenosine monophosphate. Finally, this CAMP activates another nearby membrane protein, a gated sodium ion channel, that opens its gate and allows large numbers of sodium ions to pour through the membrane into the receptor cell cytoplasm. The sodium ions increase the electrical potential of the positive direction inside the cell membrane, thus exciting the olfactory neurons and transmitting action potentials into the central nervous system by way of the olfactory nerve. The stimulating substance must be at least slightly water-soluble so that it can pass through the mucus to reach the olfactory cilia. The membrane potential inside unstimulated olfactory cells, as measured by microelectrodes, averages about negative 55 millivolts. At this potential, most of the cells generate continuous action potentials at a very slow rate. Most odorants cause depolarization of the olfactory cell membrane, decreasing the negative potential in the cell from the normal level of negative 55 millivolts to negative 30 millivolts, or less that is, changing the voltage in the positive direction. Along with this, the number of action potentials increases to 20 or 30 per second, which is a high rate for the minute olfactory nerve fibers. Over a wide range, the rate of olfactory nerve impulses changes approximately in proportion to the logarithm of the stimulus strength, which demonstrates that the olfactory receptors obey principles of transduction, similar to those of other sensory receptors. The olfactory nerve fibers leaning backward from the bulb are called cranial nerve 1, or the olfactory tract. However, in reality, both the tract and the bulb are an anterior outgrowth of brain tissue from the base of the brain. The bulbous enlargement at its end, the olfactory bulb, lies over the cribriform plate, separating the brain cavity from the upper reaches of the nasal cavity. The cribriform plate has multiple small perforations through which an equal number of small nerves pass upward from the olfactory membrane in the nasal cavity to enter the olfactory bulb in the cranial cavity. Each bulb has several thousand such glomeruli, each of which is the terminus for about 25,000 axons from olfactory cells. Each glomerulus also is the terminus for dendrites from about 25 large mitral cells and about 60 smaller tufted cells the cell bodies of which lie in the olfactory bulb superior to the glomeruli. These dendrites receive synapses from the olfactory cell neurons, and the mitral and tufted cells send axons through the olfactory tract to transmit olfactory signals to higher levels in the central nervous system. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.